Okay. All right, guys. So I'm um, just making a quick tutorial here. It should be about five, ten minutes. Um, but this one, we're going to be talking about the new artillery procedures that we're just put into place uh, for our unit. Um, so basically, what this is going to be about is we're going to be eliminating how we used to do artillery and the unit beforehand. Uh, as you guys know, with red smoke, if we had any friendly units or anything, and we wanted to send a Zeus one to place artillery down, um, we're no longer going to be doing that. Um, we're going to be eliminating red smoke, and we're going to be moving a targeted procedure type system. Basically, how that's going to work is we're going to use active uh, a artillery AI and a target module to execute fire missions uh, that will kind of uh, drop fire missions like a procedured um, like precision based area right um there's a document that was posted with this so if you're a zeus um, go look at that document it's going to basically um, outline everything you need to know if you haven't read it yet go ahead and pause the video real quick take a five minute read then come back watch this you want to so first thing that we're going to go ahead and do, right, uh, is lay out the rule that um, we're going to be moving to uh, ensure that everybody knows that there's going to be artillery within an operation. How we're going to go ahead and do that is before the start of an operation, uh, whether it be a skirmish or a main operation, it needs to be known that artillery is going to be uh, on basically within the operation. So how you're going to go ahead and do that is if it's main operation, you're going to go ahead and include it within your uh, operation briefing here um, on map like we traditionally do and it will just become an objective right whether it's going to be a main objective or a secondary objective that's going to get to the discretion of the zoos um, but I'm just going to leave it there the biggest thing is it has to be known that artillery is going to be uh, on on the field okay now if you're going to be in a skirmish right same rules apply however you'll just mention it at the start of your brief you'll whoever is leading that skirmish on ground, that there's artillery on the ground, okay? Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it like the tr traditional way where it's like pinpoint directly like on the um, asset itself, like, hey, go destroy this, right? That's completely fine. Or if you wanna do like a search and destroy type function where you're in Eden, uh, main operations, you can go ahead and set a circle like an ellipse marker and then basically, hey, go search as AO and you can go search and destroy um, this artillery placement that is completely fine. You're still letting them know the artillery is within this area and it is in this area. Uh, everybody's aware and it's on the same page that artillery is an asset that can be used within this operation. Second thing that you need to know, uh, have, uh, I do recommend as a Zeus is to have the Ace Enhanced tools, which allows you to do the distancing. Um, this is going to be uh, very key, okay, because we do have distance. Um, Kind of playing a key role here um, because depending on what platform you're on is the max distance it has so if you're using the plasma mortars so they're going to be up to four kilometers and then if you're using the baw like trebuchet type platforms this is going to be up to eight clicks okay and you can easily determine that by just using this distance small map but now we're going to get into the actual procedures here basically whenever you're doing this you're going to be putting them uh your more sections into either a grouping of two or three um, just so we're all on the same page here um, and then how we're going to go ahead and start doing this is first we're going to explain a scenario here uh, that we're going to be laying out here so basically we have friendly units moving in to like we can stay over here and then this west side over here and then this objective right but they're in this tree line and they're currently waiting to move in um, and part of the regulations of basically your procedure is you're going to place a target marker uh, at the closest friendly unit within that grouping. And if you look here, um, first we're going to start out with the mortar pit, right? The closest one from the same direction that our artillery is going to be coming from is these. So basically, what you're going to go ahead and do is you can go into modules here, and you're just all you're going to do is type target. And you're just going to create a target. Now you can go ahead and name it whatever you want to name it. We're going to leave it as target alpha, which is default. Yeah. Now, one thing to know is these target modules, uh, I'm clicking right here, but you can't actually move them. However, if you do a little trick here, if you hold left alt, like you're going to lift something in map, you have to do this in map, and then you do it on the target, uh, you'll be able to... There it is, okay. Now you're able to actually like move it, and then just so you know, uh, you can actually see this. 
Excuse me. All right. Now how you go ahead and execute this procedure is first you place down your target, which we've already done, and then you can go in here and type mission. You're gonna get you're gonna get this artillery fire mission module here. Now what you're how you're gonna do this is you're just gonna click it on the art the artillery section or mortar section that you're kind of put in on um, the grouping. So we're going to click on these three guys and then you're going to get the battery. This is the battery right here in this mortar section. And then you, the target you want to by mark. Okay. Hit OK. And the number of units involved, it is going to be up to the number of units involved in this. So this group, these three units all in one group, so you can do it up to three. And then per the mortar section system or the mortar system platform, you could do up to three to five rounds. Okay, so here we're gonna go ahead and just do, do four. You know what I mean? Um, but what this means is each unit is gonna fire four shells. Okay, you have your different ammo types. We're gonna leave it at HE and target. You want to ensure you change it to alpha. Now, per the uh, mortar system procedures, you gotta change the precision here to 500. This is step one. And once you hit enter, these guys will go ahead and do their thing. They're gonna start firing off. Now the procedure, uh, once you get to this part, right, it is completely random. It's not up to the Zeus, it's not up to anybody, you're just inputting numbers, and it will completely randomly lay out some rounds across this 500 meter range here. Now it could be barely good on target, or it could be outside on target, it's just depending on um, the, the set of dice that you roll. As you can see here, these rounds aren't actually that accurate. And especially as a Zeus, you kind of have to. These at this is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, see that's pretty good right there. Uh, rarely happens, on, especially on 500 meters, but a lot of the time you'll get them where they're dancing around your target. Now, next thing is you have to wait 45 seconds. If you're using the mortar, you have to wait 45 seconds after all rounds have landed for that fire mission. And speed forward here. Pretend we did uh, 45 second wait already. Let's say it's a minute. Then we're gonna go back and literally just do the same thing. It's gonna save your same stuff. Then you're gonna move to step three, which is saying 400 meters. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Right. Um, and again, this is completely random. Um, and that time in between rounds landing and kind of waiting is gonna give leadership time to decide what they wanna do. Um, and yeah, it, it's just basically waiting for these rounds to land. Uh, it's completely right now you can go ahead and uh, we're probably not going to finish all the procedures right now whenever it comes for the mortar system itself uh, it's completely up to the Zeus if they want to go through with the entire steps of um, one two three four and then uh, finish on five it's completely up to them you don't have to go through all five so if you want to stop at like step three where it's where we're at right now that's completely fine but the moment you stop you have to that 10 minute cooldown hits um, and that's the same once you finish step five. If you go through all the procedures, you have to wait 10 minutes until your next fire mission on this group of uh, this grouping of friendlies. Okay. Um, another thing is do note that if friendlies um, return uh, within 200 meters to that same area, right? So let's say they're like over here on this side of uh, where I'm selecting right here. That's within 200 meters of this target marker. So all you have to do is you can immediately skip to step four and five. You don't have to go through anything. So that's basically it for the mortars. Um, trebuchets we have over here. So the platform that you guys are going to be using for the trebuchet is... Oh, no, I haven't placed Okay, so basically this is just like search and destroy function, like I said. But all you're going to do is you're going to type BAWs. Now, BAWs are going to be the trebuchets for the separatist. And you can either choose between Cobra. Legion Studios. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and place oh Legion. Place three here, and then you want to put them all in the same grouping, do their thing, and then basically the same thing. Um, we're going to pretend, um, just so we're seeing how tight the precision is gonna get. We're gonna go ahead and say we already did steps one, two, and three for the trebuchets. Um, and we're gonna. Immediately to do just so you guys could see how tight those were. Um, another thing to note is when you do get to the trebuchet system, you gotta ensure that you're only doing the four rounds. Okay, not, it's not like the.
Cool. Now you guys see um, these rounds are going to land. Um, they're going to land fairly tight within the... Probably hitting this entire element, honestly, depending on how these rounds land. But we will go ahead and witness that. Um, now as these rounds land, um, for the trebuchets, it's going to take you 90 seconds after rounds do all rounds land to execute another fire mission. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much all of this for the artillery system. Um, the new procedures that we got. Hope you guys like them. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, especially as a Zeus, you can go ahead and at put uh, at me or dongles, me or dongle a message in regards to this, and we'll go ahead and answer your question. Um, but we'll go ahead and end this video once you guys see. There you go. You got one. Now this time too, you get you do have to uh, as you're watching this, like people are gonna be moving around. Um, not like they're always gonna be sitting in one spot. Let's... That's pretty. Cool. Yeah, but uh, especially as a Zeus, um, definitely exciting. Um, in these procedures myself, uh, what the guys kind of came up with. But other than that, that's it. Hopefully, it's self-explanatory. Again, uh, if you guys have any questions, ask. Um, and it's going to be a form that we're going to go ahead and put out um, for all the Zeus that you guys just need to go in and just kind of fill out and saying that you want.